Hey everybody and welcome to this video. This is going to be a first impression and trying on the brand new ColourPop Nude Mood and Blush Crush Collection. I'm so excited. Honestly, I think this is like one of the collections that I've been most excited for from ColourPop just because I love my neutrals and I love a good, just gorgeous, neutral toned palette and that is like right up this alley so there is the blush crush which is more of like pinky tone neutrals and then you have nude mood which are more like nude kind of colors like brownie kind of nude colors so i'm here for it i'm ready for it and let's do it So first, let's just kind of go over the collection and just see what everything is. So I will do the lips first and I'll do a swatch of each one as well so you can kind of see what they look like on my skin tone. Now I am like a MAC NC42, NC40, like in that range. So just for like a little, you know, skin tone comparison, I am like on the like medium tan side of the spectrum although I am a little bit more pale right now because it is winter but it's fine so yeah let's go ahead and start off with the sweetest thing just a tint lip crown bundle and in this bundle you do get two just a tint lip crowns you get the color always right and feel good so feel good is more of a like rosy nude shade and then always right is like a more pinkier tone of that so this is the shade always right it's definitely a little bit more on the pinky side i'm not one for more of a pink lip but you know with like a nude liner underneath i feel like i would still use it i'm just not like a pink kind of girl now this is the shade feel good This is like a nice rosy tone and it's kind of like a your lips but better type of shade. And it's very nice, like good for kind of every day, very natural kind of shade. Now we're going to move on to the Can't Bear It lip bundle. The two in this lip bundle are overexposed and more than ever. So the shade overexposed from the packaging just looks like more of like a peachy kind of rose shade i don't even know and then the shade more than ever looks more of like a deeper kind of terracotta shade maybe i don't even know so uh, first i'm gonna go in with overexposed so this is the shade overexposed honestly i feel like i would more so go towards this one if i was going for like a more natural everyday kind of lip color just because it's a little less like pinky and like rosy and i just personally prefer those type of tones but um it's still like a very natural kind of your lips but better just more of a less pink tone and last but not least we have the shade more than ever and this is just like a deeper kind of version of that other shade a little bit more like fall time appropriate i feel like this would be the perfect like fall lip so overall i think that these are such a good product honestly the just a tint lip crowns are like my favorite lip product from ColourPop. these colors aren't necessarily like my favorite gonna go to all the time but if I were to choose between the two, personally, I would get the Can't Bear It one just because I do like less rosy, pinky tones. I like more of like a brownish kind of tone. And these are a little bit more towards that kind of color spectrum. But it's all up to you and your personal preference. The product themselves is really nice. They're really nice, moisturizing, thin products. And they're going to stay on your lips, give you a little bit of color while still moisturizing your lips really nicely. So... Um, kind of it's up to you what you want to do but if you're more into like pinky rosy tones I would say go with the sweetest thing if you like more like brownie terracotta each colors go with the can't bear it um, bundle so yeah but these are what all of these shades looked like on me all right now let's move in to the part that I'm most excited about and that is the nine pan palettes I am so excited to see what they look like, what the shades are going to be. So this 
right here is the nude mood palette again the packaging is just gorgeous as always ColourPop always just does it so well with their packaging and here are the shades and if you like more of the nude kind of brownish tones then you would probably want to go more for like the nude mood collection and then the blush crush is more of your pinky rosy tones let's see what the blush crush palette looks like I think that this would be such a good palette for Valentine's Day. Like those colors just they, like look like they would be such a good Valentine's Day color range. So I think today I'm going to go in with the Nude Mood palette just because it's just what's been speaking to me. I just love a good nude, like brownie nude. So that's what we're going to do today. But I will definitely use the Blush Crush. Like I said, I think it kind of gives me more like Valentine's Day vibes. So maybe I'll do like a affordable Valentine's Day look using that palette. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And I will definitely do it. Well, either way, I think I'll probably still do it. But just let me know if you're interested though. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the shade Au Naturel and place that in my crease. And then right below that, I'm going to take the shade Mugged Off, in like the outer corner and right below that in the crease. I'm not going to do anything super crazy out of this world. I'm going to kind of just do my typical everyday type of look. And these shades definitely are going to give you like my favorite kind of go-to type of look. But um, even kind of with all shades, I just kind of do the same type of technique. And I just feel like it works best for my eyes. Where I start off with a lighter color and then I slowly deepen it in my outer corner and crease. And then I do a nice shimmer color all over the lid. And I just feel like that complements my eyes the best and it's just like my kind of signature type of look. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and kind of just getting a feel for the shadows and the colors and all of that. But don't expect anything like out of this world type of makeup look. It's just going to be a very simple kind of pretty makeup. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the shade Moody which is that deeper brown shade and apply that right into the outer corner just for some more depth. Once you place it, you're just going to kind of blend it outwards towards the crease. And I'm going to go back in with that mugged off shade, kind of blend out in the crease, making sure it's not super harsh. And then for my inner corner, like on the lid, I'm going to take the shade Put On Airs. And that is a gorgeous color. Look at that color. That is really gorgeous. And then I think I'm just going to take the shade Wink Wink right on the inner corner. Look at that. Ooh. And this is a super shock formula. That is 
so pretty oh my goodness so now i'm gonna go off camera really quickly and just finish up the rest of my eyes put on some mascara put on my um falsies and then for the other eye i'm just going to take all of the same shades we used in our crease on the same order and just put that underneath the eye and put a little mascara so i'll be right back and then we'll get on to these super shock highlighters which i am super here for and i'm really to test out so i'll be right back all right so i am back and this is what the eyes look like fully done again just love them this is like one of my favorite type of looks to do and i'm just so here for it how many times have i said that in this video because i'm just really so here for this whole collection so um yeah let's go ahead and jump into the highlighters um like at the beginning of the video i had all of the rest of my face already done so i have like my blush bronzer all that so now i'm ready for the highlighters um i do want to note that the glitter that i put all over my eyes is definitely has a lot of fallout and i do have like a lot of <laughs> glitter like over here in my under eye so i do have a glittery under eye today but you know what we're just gonna rock it and keep it moving so but yeah i figured i would just kind of let that be known that there is a little bit of fallout with the more glittery shades so yeah let's go ahead and get into these highlighters so again there are two highlighters for one for the blush crush and one for the nude mood so the one that goes with the blush crush uh, collection is the your a catch and again this is what the like sleeve of the packaging looks like that gorgeous floral design and then this is what the actual package looks like this is huge and it gives me the Marc Jacobs highlighter vibe. I've never had a Marc Jacobs um, highlighter, but I do know like the packaging and it's basically like looks exactly like this pretty much. And this highlighter you do get 0.32 ounces. Now I will show you what the like old highlighter packaging, I don't know if this is like what their new packaging is going to look like or if it's just specifically for this collection, but I'll show you kind of what like the regular Super Shock highlighters looks like let me go grab one from my collection this is what the like other packaging looks like and then this is what like the new packaging looks like so definitely a very big difference as far as the size and it's basically twice as much product because this one right here is 0.15 ounces and this one is 0.32 ounces so a little bit over like twice as much product in the bigger one so let that be known now let's go ahead and show you the other one now this is what the nude mood one is looks like and this one is called the real thing So I'll go ahead and show you the two side by side so you can kind of compare the shades. They both do look like they have a kind of gold tone to it. So on camera, I don't know, in person, this looks more like a pink kind of champagne gold. And this one looks like a serious gold. But then when I look in camera, this you can definitely tell is a lot more pink. So you can definitely see the more of the pink reflect on camera. So I am going to go in with the, the real thing one today, kind of keep it all in the nude mood collection. I'm just going to use my finger actually. And this is what it looks like. And just pop it on my cheek. So definitely again, very gold. Can you see? And maybe I'll just add in a little bit of this just so you can kind of see. I feel like it's going to lighten it. Just give it more of a pop if you can see. Like it's definitely more. I'll just keep that towards like the top of the cheek. And that Cupid's bow. Then I'm just going to take my sponge and just make sure that that's nice and, you know, pressed into the skin and looks very seamless and natural. So, yeah. I'm just going to finish my lips, take my Morphe Sweet Tea Liner. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna take the Jessica Tint Lip Crayon in Overexposed. Gorgeous. And let me take maybe just a little bit of the shade Always Right, like the more pinky shade, right in the middle. Just give it a little bit of dimension, a little bit more color, so it's not just brown you know all right so this is the final look um basically i pretty much have all of the nude mood collection on my face just because that is the side that i kind of more go towards just because i like more brownie kind of tones again if you are more of a pinky rosy tone i think you might really like the blush crush or you can just do what i did and get both because i am just a shopaholic and i felt like i wanted both to try out and kind of just see the difference and let you guys know. I will be using the blush crush correction. <laughs> what? I will be using the blush the what? The heck. I will be using the blush crush collection in a upcoming video. Like I said, I will do a drugstore Valentine's video featuring that collection so you guys can kind of see it in all its glory. And if you're more of a rosy pink tone type of person, you can kind of get more of that vibe going in that video. But I just, the nude, the nude collection was kind of calling me. The nude tones were just they were they were pulling me so i went ahead and did it so this is what am i saying what are we doing here like <laughs> what is happening um yeah so here we have it um as far as the whole collection i feel like they are both really nice i feel like the packaging is gorgeous probably my favorite design for the packaging i think that the flowers is just so gorgeous like the tones like the way they edit it like the soft kind of muted colors it's just it's all just so cute so aesthetic if you will so i definitely love the design of both collections or both parts of the collection and i think that the products themselves although i didn't try the blush crush palette but i'm assuming that the eyeshadows kind of are the same uh, like the same formula and same quality that i can kind of speak on it and say that they are good shadows good quality good formulation very pigmented very well blendable and just overall you know up to color pop standards which to me are high standards i again have not had any issues with their products in the past and i am definitely a fan obviously you guys can see my collection i have quite a lot of color pops so this um collection was no different than the others where i'm just I'm a fan and I'm here for it and I'm happy that I have it in my collection. So as far as the pricing goes, the palettes themselves are each $14 or you can get just the palettes, like both of them together in a bundle for $24. So you save about, what, $4? <laughs> right? You can also get the Super Shock highlighters um, individually. They are $12 and you can only buy those individually or as the full collection. So each lip crown you can buy individually if you only like one of these shades. So each lip crown is $8 or both of the kits are $14 each. So it's up to you. Maybe you liked one shade in one and then both in the other. You can get a duo and then just a single or you can get all singles, all duos, you know, do your thing. So individually the lip crowns are $8 as a duo they are $14 so you do save about $2 when you get the duo if you're interested in the duo it comes in and then uh, the full collection if you want everything both palettes both highlighters and both lip crayon duos is $76 so overall i think this is a great collection i think if you're interested go for it if you were eyeing it and you just weren't sure do it you know i don't think that it is going to be something that you regret so as always you can use a code to kind of save some percent i will use i think it's like a 20 percent or 15 percent that will give me a commission you know so you can go ahead and use that if you're interested or you can use a affiliate code from one of your favorite youtubers i know a lot of different youtubers i always use shay that girl shay xo and her code is just shay it's s h a e but if you want to save a little bit more if you've never purchased from colourpop i will leave down below 
below a code for your first time purchase if you want to save just a little bit more percentage and i will get i think like twenty dollars off or something i think it's like when you it's like a referral link basically for me so you can use that if you've never purchased from ColourPop before or you can use an affiliate code and those you can use if you have purchased from ColourPop before you can use it on any of your purchases and again I use SHAE for that girl shake so because I love her and I've been following her forever and I just always like to support so do that and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys being here with me on my channel. If you liked this video and you want to see more content from me, definitely hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys liked it. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.